How to recover your stolen phone today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Annie Gauss. Now, chances are you've reached this video because you've just lost your phone or had it stolen, and I just want to take this opportunity to say my condolences. You deserve better. But the bright side is that there are three steps you can take to ensure the best possible chance of getting your stuff back. Steps that we've come up with in our own real world test, as well as with the advice of our friends at the San Francisco Police Department. So, step one. No, let's start with step zero. We've drilled this into your brains over and over again, but if you really want to recover your phone, you need to have recovery software installed on your phone before it gets stolen. You can't buy auto insurance after you get into a car accident, and neither can you with phones. That is, unless you're on an Android, and we'll get to that in a bit, but if you're on iOS, we recommend Apple's Find My iPhone. And if you're on Android, we recommend an app called Prey. Step one, let's say this happens. Oh, hey. Hey. Look at this. We got the same microphone. Oh, yeah. We're cool. microphone buddies. Right. That's yeah. awesome. Sweet. Hey, listen, I was wondering if I'd ask you a favor. Sure. My car broke down and I'm really in a rush. Can I use your phone? Mine's dead. I just need to call somebody to give me a ride. Uh, it's pretty cracked. I mean, um, that's cool. If you don't mind, I don't mind. Uh, sure. Cool. Awesome. Hey, can I borrow yours too, man? Because I need to make two calls. Please? Awesome. Thanks. You guys are the best. First of all, nobody needs two phones to make two phone calls, so don't be an idiot. Also, don't do this. <music> Lieutenant Alexa O'Brien of SFPD says, let the phone go, knucklehead. Okay, she didn't say knucklehead. We added that part in. But it's not worth getting injured or worse over a phone. Put things in perspective. Step two, call the police and stay where you are. Officer Albi Esparza details what you'll be reporting. If you only suspect that the phone was stolen, you can file a report of lost property. But if force or fear is involved, it's officially a robbery report, and that, by the way, is a felony. What our ex-friend Anthony committed was petty theft as long as the value of the phone is under $950, which it probably is unless you have this diamond-studded case, which hopefully you don't. Step three, find a friend or good Samaritan with an iPhone or computer ASAP. Log into Find My iPhone or Prey, determine the location of the phone, and report this to police as quickly as possible. Well, that was stupid. That was really dumb of us. I can't believe we fell for that, that again. That was really, he's good. Anyway, well, so we have to get our phones back somehow. Yeah, well, I do have Find My iPhone installed on my phone. On your on your iPhone? On my iPhone. Now, I have an Android. Okay. So I think I have Prey on there right now, and they two, both of them are sort of like GPS tracking applications. They're going to work a little differently. Let's take a look at yours first. Okay. Okay, so first we go into iCloud. We okay. just log in here. We're lucky enough to be in a coffee shop here that happens to have Wi-Fi, so this is working out perfectly. Yes. And once you're in, you go to Find My iPhone, and what this app does is pretty much just show you exactly where your phone is. There's your phone right there. You can also do things like send yourself a message, okay. you can make the phone play a noise, and you can also lock and wipe it. <laughs> Assuming we didn't just get mugged for our phones. If you just like lost it, it's in the couch somewhere, you can't find it, you can play a sound here. So let's try that. Play a sound is on. All right, so send. And our phone thief is getting annoyed with some sort of tone right now. So you can also lock it by hitting remote lock, and then you create a passcode, and that locks your phone. So they can't read your texts. OK. All right. Um, let me find my phone, because maybe they're, they're probably together. OK. Um, but here's the Android process. I'm a big fan of uh, Prey. So if you get to if you go to uh, preyproject.com, you can sign up for a free account. The cool thing about Prey is it also tracks laptops. So if, say this laptop was stolen, I can track it on another device. But we're looking for my Samsung Galaxy Nexus already registered here. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna report this as missing. There's one more step I need to take though. Right now, uh, Prey says yes, your phone is missing, but I need to let my phone know that it's missing. And it's kind of weird. If you sign up for a pro account, when I hit missing, uh, it'll automatically turn Prey on on my phone. But right now, I need to send a message to my phone that says, Go Prey. That's just the default message. I've kept it as the default, but you can set up any other 
keyword that you want. Uh, but we don't have our phones on us, so that we can't do that. However, you can uh, send a, a text message via email. If you're on T-Mobile, it's the phone number plus tmomail.net. If you're on Virgin, at themobi.com, singular is singularme.com. Uh, there's a whole list of, of, uh, of uh, email addresses here that you can take a look at. I'm gonna send that message. That's gonna uh, immediately lock the phone and it's gonna send me a report via email. Okay, so it looks like I have a report back from my Galaxy Nexus. It says, good news, a new report has arrived. So I'm gonna check that out. Prey, um, I don't think is as accurate as on my iPhone, but the nice thing about Prey is that it also gives you the IP address that they're on. Um, and it gives you constant reports uh, throughout the day. So, uh, but I think we should pack it up and try to give our thief a visit. Let's do it. Let's do it. The nice thing about Prey is that it will automatically activate itself if the SIM card is replaced. iPhone users, good luck. So those are the three do's of recovering your phone. There are also three don'ts, some of which might surprise you, and we'll check those out in a sec, but first, a quick story. When researching this episode, we came across a few people who had actually had their phones stolen in real life, and by far the most fascinating part is how they went about trying to get them back. Now, imagine that instead of a phone, you're recovering a rare Civil War battle flag, or a Rembrandt, a Monet, or a Picasso. Well, Robert K. Whitman, who's the founder of FBI's art crime team, recovered these priceless items all while undercover and usually unarmed. Catching art thieves, scammers, and black market traders in Paris, Philadelphia, Rio, Santa Fe, Miami, and Madrid all over the place. You can listen to Whitman's incredible story in his book Priceless, How I Went Undercover to Rescue the World's Stolen Treasures, available at audible.com. They're the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, iPhone, or Android, and played back at anywhere at any time. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and so much more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment, get a free audiobook. Okay, now to the don'ts. Firstly, even though you have the option and it's very tempting, do not message or lock the phone. This will let the suspect know that they're being sought out and they will just turn the phone off. Similarly, do not set off the alarm on the phone unless the officers have, for example, found the suspect, they know where the phone is and the alarm will help them find it. This feature, of course, can also help you if you've just lost the phone in your own house somewhere, which happens all the time. So even though it might feel pretty good to annoy a thief with messages or noises, it can be very counterproductive to your goal of getting it back. Lieutenant O'Brien also pointed out that a very common scenario is that the suspect will try to sell the device to a pawn shop quickly for a quick couple hundred bucks. However, many pawn shops do have a waiting period, as in the device can't be resold for a certain amount of time, so there is a window of time where it's possible to try and get your phone back. And perhaps most importantly, also do use precaution, do be aware of your surroundings, and don't whip out expensive stuff on the bus, at least in San Francisco, or anywhere that you're vulnerable. Even the earbuds can be a tip-off. Now, if you're using an Android device and you forgot to pre-install a GPS tracker, you might be in luck. Plan B is the Find My iPhone app that you download after you lose your phone. Just install Plan B to the phone that you're trying to find from the Android Market website. Plan B will start automatically and send your phone's location to your Gmail. To locate again after 10 minutes, borrow a friend's phone and text the word locate to your lost phone. But remember that text can tip off the suspect that you're on his trail, so wait for that first report. And finally, one more thing, do share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. See you next time.